what's going on you guys and welcome back to another episode of what shall we do next i'm mike your host and i hope you guys are having the best day ever before i get started guys please subscribe if you are new here and you haven't already done that we're on the road to 148,000 subscribers and i would love you to join me on this journey so hit subscribe right now and join the fam and also guys go follow me on all my social media links are in the description i have facebook twitter instagram and even snapchat so go follow me on all of those and guys make sure you have your notifications on so that way you get notified every time I upload a video. Thank you. And as you guys know, I've been giving shout outs to people who follow me over on Twitter. So if you want to win a shout out, go follow me on Twitter. Links in the description. And today's shout out goes to drum roll. Brian Underhill. Way to go, Brian. Way to go. Woo-hoo! <laughs> but what's going on, you guys? Welcome back. And I know, I know, I still have no beard yet. I know. It's okay, though. It's okay. Uh, but today, guys, we are doing another scary story. We're going back in time. I got no beard. We're doing scary stories. It's just like the good old times, guys. So today, we're doing a scary story. It's like a, a creepy pasta. And this scary story is called... The Girl and the Doll. So the girl and the doll is a creepy story about a teenager who notices a strange little girl and a doll that has matching clothes. Ooh, scary! And guys, if you like this shirt that I'm wearing, it is also by The Mountain. It's a pretty awesome shirt. It's a clown shirt. If you like it and you want to get one for yourself, go look in the description. There is a link to their site and they're hooking you guys up 15% off. Use the promo code what shall we do next and you can get 15% off anything you want. They have hundreds of designs, lots of different stuff, not just shirts, but hoodies, blankets, pillows, hats, other stuff. Go check out their site, link in the description, and use promo code What Shall We Do Next to check out for 15% off. But enough of the jibber jabber, let's get right over to the story. The Girl and the Doll I want to tell you a story about a girl and a doll. I know what you're thinking. You've heard this story before. A little girl wants a doll, someone buys it for her, and then the doll goes mental and kills everyone. Well, you're wrong. This is a different kind of story. It happened back in 2009 when I was 16 years old. One day, as I was walking home from school, I noticed a new family had moved into the house at the end of my street. They were a young married couple, and they had a little daughter who looked like she was around six years old. She wore a white dress, white socks, and black shoes. Her hair was long and black, and she was holding a doll in her arms. The doll had a white dress and long black hair as well. In fact, it looked almost exactly like a miniature version of the girl. Every day on my way home from school, I saw the little girl. She was always sitting there outside her house, cradling the doll in her arms and watching me as I passed by. There was something about the way she stared at me and the cold, dark look in her eyes that really unnerved me. At night, I couldn't sleep. I was plagued by very strange dreams and woke up in a cold sweat. I could only vaguely remember the dreams, but they all involved the girl with the doll. This went on night after night, and the lack of sleep left me exhausted. There was an old lady who lived next door, and she was very inquisitive. She was one of these old women who knows everything about everyone. She was always eavesdropping and sticking her nose into other people's business. One day, as I was walking to school, she grabbed me by the arm, and in a hushed tone, she said she had something to tell me. She wanted to talk about the family who moved into the house at the end of the street. You don't want to mess with them, she told me. They're not good people. I've heard that they're always on the move, and they never stay anywhere for long. And that daughter of theirs, did you know 
that she's adopted. She's not right in the head either. I've heard rumors that she's the offspring of the devil, and the doll that she carries around is not a doll at all, but a demon made in her image. I just rolled my eyes and walked away, dismissing it as the idle gossip of an old crazy woman. But oh, how silly I was. How I wish I had listened to the warnings of that crazy old woman. A few days later, there was a knock on our front door. When I answered it, a young woman was standing there. She was the mother of the little girl with the doll. Hello, she said. I'm your neighbor, and I'd like to ask you for a favor. Sure, I replied. What is it? Something unexpectedly came up, she said. I have to go on an errand, and my husband doesn't get home from work until later. I'll be gone for a few hours, but I need somebody to look after my daughter while I'm away. I know it's short notice, but would you take care of her? Of course, I said. What's your daughter's name? Lisa, the mother replied. We need to leave now, so if you don't mind. I followed the woman to her house, and I waited while she rushed upstairs. When she returned, she was leading the little girl by the hand. As soon as I saw her, I was taken aback. There was something wrong with her. Her eyes were completely black, like the eyes of a shark and she was still clutching that wretched doll in her arms. I don't know what it was about the duel that creeped me out so much. Perhaps it was because it looked so much like the little girl that it was disturbing and uncanny. Before I had a chance to back out, the mother said her goodbyes, then got into the car and drove away without a word. Little Lisa reached up and took me by the hand. Her skin was ice cold to the touch and it sent a shiver down my spine. Play with me, she said. We went upstairs to her bedroom, but as soon as I closed the door, I began to feel uneasy. I could detect a strange and unpleasant smell in the room, but I couldn't figure out what it was or where it was coming from. I played with Lisa for about 30 minutes, but then I began to feel a tightness in my chest and I broke out into a cold sweat, and my stomach was churning. I felt like I was going to vomit. I have to go, I gasped. All of a sudden, Lisa scrambled to her feet and cried out, No! You are going to stay with me forever, and we'll play all the time. She stared at me with those coal black eyes, and I felt like I was going to faint. I was frightened and wanted to get out of the room. But when I tried to open the door, the handle wouldn't turn. I began rattling it and pulling on it, but it was no use. I ran to the window and tried to open it, but it wouldn't budge. No matter what I tried, I couldn't open it. Then I remembered the warnings of the old lady and cursed myself for not listening to her. I was trembling with fear, but decided to recite a prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. As soon as I uttered those words, the little girl let out an ear-splitting screech, her scream so loud that I thought I would go deaf and had to clasp my hands over my ears, but I never stopped reciting that prayer. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. The girl dropped the doll and fell to the floor. All of a sudden, it came to life and came at me, gnashing its teeth and scratching with its clawed hands like a feral animal. I tried to kick it away, but it jumped at my neck and tried to tear out my throat. I fell backwards on the bed, desperately trying to fight the doll off. It was a terrible struggle. The doll was thrashing back and forth, scraping and tearing at my clothes. Every time I got its hands around my neck, it started to throttle me. Eventually, I got the upper hand. I grabbed it by the legs and swung it with all my might, smashing its head against the wall. It hit the wall so hard that it left a dent in the plaster. A crack split the doll's face in two, and thick black smoke began pouring out. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. The doll lay on the floor shaking and wriggling, flopping back and forth like a dying fish. The doll's head split wider and the smoke billowing out of it grew thicker and thicker. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. When I finished reciting the prayer, Lisa was lying in the middle of the room, unconscious, and the doll was a little more than a steaming pile of molten plastic, hissing and bubbling on the carpet. Just then, Lisa's mother came home. She ran up the stairs and burst into the bedroom, demanding to know what had happened. I tried to explain, but I couldn't get the words out. I threw up all over the floor. When Lisa regained consciousness, she said that she remembered nothing nothing at all. I looked at her eyes. The blackness was gone and now they were a bright vibrant shade of blue. Three years later, when she was only nine years old, Lisa died suddenly. She drank an entire bottle of bleach and it corroded her insides. She died in tremendous pain, screaming and crying in agony as her organs slowly broke down and dissolved. The doctors ruled it as an accident but everyone suspected she had taken her own life. Her parents were devastated. Nobody could explain why a girl so young would do such a thing. A week after the funeral, her mother and father moved out of the house. It held too many bad memories. As they were going through Lisa's bedroom and packing up her belongings, they found something glued to the back of her mirror. It was a photo of Lisa and the doll. On the other side, written in childish scrawl, was a message. She has returned to us, for those who answer our call will be damned forever. And that is the end of that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this story. It was pretty disturbing, especially the end part. Like, ah, I didn't think that was necessary about the little girl, like, killing herself. But other than that, I thought it was a pretty good story. It was pretty old school, just your typical, like, scary story. Nothing too much, nothing too disappointing either. I thought it was pretty good. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button down below. Remember, guys, like, save lives. If you want me to live a long, happy life, hit the like button. If you want to see me die a slow and painful and agonizing and torturous death because the ghost of the little doll is going to come to my house and kill me, hit the dislike button. And my question to all of you guys for question of the day is, what do you think of this story? Let me know in the comment section. That is question of the day. And guys, if you are still watching right now, go look in the bottom of the description. There is a secret comment code. Shh, don't tell anyone. It's a secret. But if you take that code, put it in the comment section, it proves to me that you watched the video till the very end and you found it. But thank you guys for watching. I love you all. And remember the most important thing, chase your dreams. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Thank you.